As we're here at Carriage House, our investigation tonight, our public investigation. Laying on Danny over there. Don't see Shaylin yet. Yeah. A nice old place, huh? What do you think, Dan? Yeah. You ready for tonight? Yeah. Say hi to everybody. Hi. And uh, did you bring your laptop? They said don't work. No, nah, okay. All mm -hmm. right, well, I think Maria brought hers. Okay. So, is Shannon here? I don't think so. What's the driving there? I think it's an SUV. That same one, that black one? Oh, okay. Yeah, so. That's it, guys. I don't know the whole story yet. Okay. Um, did you see some of our comments on the, uh, on our Facebook page? No. The one girl said that, uh, claimed at the library that ladies voices are very strong and stuff like that oh here yeah okay um that's all about i know we come here tonight after the world's artist ghost hunt because this is where command center was dan me and shannon did after you left okay and they were doing an investigation at night right after world's artist ghost hunt okay. it was so late though we were so tired we right. didn't we didn't yeah. participate in it so right um yeah What's up guys, welcome to Carriage Inn, uh, German Village. We're here till 1 a.m. doing a public ghost hunt. Uh, you know Shannon, Hello. Danny, there's David, he's on film too. Andrew's behind the camera. Um, we don't know too much about the history of this place. Me and Shannon were here tonight, I was telling Danny after the world's largest ghost hunt, remember we come here? Yep. And they did an investigation afterwards, yep. after we left. So, this is our first time. So hopefully some spectacular stuff happens. So spectacular. So we've been having a lot of, a lot of comments and stuff on Facebook about the stuff that goes on in this place. So hopefully we'll have a good night and uh, we have some spooky things happen. So you'll see us inside. See you inside, yeah. guys. See ya. Not many ghost hunting 
tours do you get to use a lot of these gadgets? And we're gonna, they're gonna teach you a little bit about the 101. Yes, we have to spend a little time talking about the preliminaries um, because that's important. But, and then there's um, Terry Watt Brody, and Terry is also <coughs> the founder of ESP. And they're from Brighton, Florida. And they've been around for 10 years. They're gonna be on a really cool show called True Those Stories. True Those Stories is going on September. September. And I think it's gonna be on the Amazon or we we know. Know. we've heard yeah, we've heard there's several platforms that you will not tell us. Yet. So that's okay. But they'll be there. And um, if you guys all subscribe to us, you will find out, you mm -hmm. know. And if you pick up their card and Facebook like them, just like Camel Tucky, Facebook like them, you'll get to know what they're doing here in town as well. Okay. So here comes the boring boring part. And it's not boring, it's actually the most critical and necessary mm -hmm. part of any investigation is knowing the history and understanding because the history is going to lead to triggers to what motivates these spirits from staying here. Um, it's going to feed and fill in the answers to like things that we are hearing that we don't understand. So before we go on, I'd like to go around the room and shortly tell me your first name, uh, what city you're from, and if you are uh, experience those times. Sorry, I don't know why. I'm um, Jessica. I'm probably in for a little bit now. Um, and I'm not experienced. I'm Tracy. I'm in the Westchester Bronx. You guys have fun. I'm going to have fun. Close. Okay, give some. I'm Lloyd. I'm Columbus. I'm new to this. New to this, okay. I'm Haley. I'm Columbus. I'm Haley. I'm Lindy. I know, you guys have traveled from around the world. Thank you. I'm Amber, I'm going to play one of this one. Is you first? Okay. Virgins. 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 <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm Jenna, I'm going to play one of Yeah, you're very, very beautiful. I'm Candace, um, from Lexington, but originally born here in Hamilton. Um, I have gone along with him to Liberty Hills, and oh, yeah. um, we didn't capture anything, but my experience was um, in a group of people huddled together and felt feeling cold chill on a July night mm -hmm. after it had just rained. So. That's interesting, because I just showed a random picture after my experience. Of that. He'll share that with you today. Oh, nice. Yeah, Rolling Hills is a, um, I'm sorry, Beverly yeah. Hills is a really, mm -hmm. very reputably, and you, it's hard to get in there. Yes, investigate. Yes, definitely. So, so they get filled up real fast. Yes, they do. I'm Patrick. I'm Kenneth's husband, so I went to Waverly Mother, and we also went to Star. Oh, we've gone to Bobby Mackey as well. Bobby Mackey. I did catch an orb, and I, I know they can be iffy, but Bobby Mackey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. so happy because everything you just explained, I hope you get a much right. bigger experience here yeah. than yeah. you will. I hope so. We just yeah. got good as Hans and Hamilton as they do. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. Tony from uh, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, first time. Really. I'm Megan. I'm from Columbus. Um, Are you a skeptic? No, I I grew up in a haunted home. Did you? And I've seen ghosts my whole life. Awesome. Nice. Oh, I love it. Are you are you sensitive? I guess. <laughs> 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 You're definitely not insensitive. Lot. That's for yes. sure. You know. <laughs> So, um, and that's very, any other sensitives here? Besides that crew? Any other? You can I, raise your hand, please. Be honored. I may or may not be. <laughs> okay. Very um, there's different levels of sensitivity. So I'm not, we're not gonna go into that. You know, we're gonna go more to the scientific, but we cannot ignore the, the mediumship. And we've got, a, you know, a, at least one medium here, um, full, you know, full-fledged. We are all, we all are sensitives, one way or another. It's just how we keen in and how we do it, you know. Um, we all have different ways that other people see, some people feel, some people hear, some people just get shivers down the spine, some people, you know, start seizing, I don't know, whatever. It's all, we all react differently to spirit. And yourself. I'm Rob, I'm from Durant, Michigan, and I've been investigating the paranormal for about nine years now. Really, really? And this is your first time in Hamilton? No, second. Second. So if you want to see it in person, Robert is here for you. So thank you. Do you have a team or you just go independently? Uh, yeah. You're, you're very smart. Yeah, that's right. 
So I'm going to talk a little bit now. Um, I think I, um, is Sean here? Finally, Sean. Thank yeah, you. hi, we'll talk you. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. So we got the whole team here. I'm going to talk about the history of, of, um, of Hamilton. And I know it's a little boring. Bear with me, the little girl in the back. The little, the history lesson. Um, it's because it's really important. And it may affect what you get here. It may not, but we don't know. And until we know history, um, it also will explain why, God bless you, this area is so, so, um, so spirited. So Hamilton, Ohio was originally um, the site of Fort Hamilton. If anybody knows that, it's near the river because of the river, the Greater Miami River. That's where the fort was built. And this was built in 1791. So we've got a long history here. Um, almost preceding the, you know, the American Revolution, which is fantastic. Um, it was originally um, founded as Fairfield, but then we quickly changed the name to Hamilton in honor of the Secretary of the Treasury, Alexander Alexander Hamilton. So if you go around town, German Village is a beautiful town, They're all very old buildings, but there are other very old buildings and structures around town. And that's all reflected on the, the centuries that this town has existed. Immigrants, um, located on two railroad lines, and that's important, when we later talk about hauntings, is um, the Miami and the Erie Canal. Hamilton flourished in the 19th century with many residents from Germany, Ireland, and other European countries. And they quickly started into manufacturing to sustain themselves here. And they did a marvelous job with it. Um, during the Civil War era, Yes, Abraham Lincoln was here. And he stopped at one of the train stations, which is um, near Martin Luther King. There's an old train station there, and that's where Martin, uh, Abraham Lincoln, and we're trying to salvage that and think of that motion, and they would question me, they would. But that's where he actually spoke. And he spoke of um, Hamilton as this beautiful and far famed Miami Valley is a garden spot of the world. It was during this campaign that. Um, the relatively unknown Lincoln was first mentioned as a possible presidential contender. Happened here in Hamilton, so he's got a little bit of kudos for us here. Um, let's get saucy. This was also known one time as Little Chicago. Yes. Yes. And so this was a naughty town. I think it still is, but it was, <laughs> it was definitely a very naughty town. During the 1920s, gang wars, gangster wars, that led to shootouts and bullet-ridden bodies being found on the outskirts of the city, murder trial witnesses, and car bombs exploding outside of speakeasies in the downtown area. One of the places that they were notorious for, there was a lot of bars here, is right there on 2nd or 7th Street. So there's a lot of really bad stuff going on there. So we're rarely in the middle now. They were all over the place in Hamilton, but this is one of their focuses for the, um, for the gangsters. So the cast of characters among the worst in Hamilton's history was Bob Zumwick, a gang leader, alleged killer, Lyman Williams. I'm saying these names, hopefully you will elicit some spirit activity. A, a leading boot, um, bootlegger who boldly defied law enforcement in the bar on Court Street, which is just couple blocks away, and George Fat Bassman, another leading bootlegger, also on Court Street. John Dillinger was also part of Little Miami, uh, Little um, Chicago here. So he killed a couple, pop a couple of people here in that town, right? All right. During World War II, and this is crazy, the military declared the entire city off limits <laughs> to his enlisted <laughs> personnel because of the, num of the numerous gambling and prostitution establishments in the city of Hamilton. But basically, they were not allowed here. That's how naughty this, this town was. So, <laughs> there's no more on that Just about, just about. <laughs> okay. So, well, they had a lot of prostitution wigs here, and yeah. it was just so, so, so concentrated. <laughs> Today, it is a strong rebound. As I don't know if you guys know, but we are going to be the home to the largest indoor 
uh, the sports arena in the country, the Swoopy Nook. I like that name. Swoopy Nook. <laughs> and it's going to be on the west side. It's, it's in the, one of the old paper nook factories. So um, we're very happy that it's in the rebound. And I think um, we're going to try to be furnish the spirits with here with all these type of events here in Hamilton. Okay, so German Village, where we're sitting, is the first residential settlement outside of Fort Hamilton. So you are in the oldest part of Hamilton. Um, I'm not gonna go into it, but one big thing that hit German Village, which was very devastating, was in 1913. What happened in 1913? A flood. A flood. And it basically, if you go outside the building or you break, you will see the flood line. It pretty much covered half this building. And the most of German village. There was a lot of devastation, a lot of death. Um, it's just, this is something that we had to rebuild from. Unfortunately, after the flood happened, then we had another devastation, which is the stock market, market crash. Mm -hmm. That was, it really hurt business. The war gave, gave it a kickback um, because they started needing a lot of um, manufacturing from the, from the factories here, so we picked it out. But then in the 1990s, unfortunately, all of Hamilton just declined completely uh, financially because paper was eliminated with the digital era. And all those factories of uh, big champion papers, you see them, they're, they're basically cemeteries of old buildings that once existed. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to start seeing some of those buildings come to life again, literally. So, um, what makes Hamilton so haunted? Well, I mentioned a couple of things. Any ideas? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> From the the gallery. <laughs> well, Maria, <laughs> I heard you mention the river. Yeah. <laughs> Water is a big conduit for, you'll see some of the most uh, haunted cities in America are near water. New Orleans, Savannah, St. Augustine. If they're, not, um, if they're not next to water, they're over the water. So I think with big springs, it's, it, um, it's just a big conduit. I've done a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, research about water and conduit, and conduit with um, have you ever noticed that you, whenever you turn water on and you start getting a little bit more, like when you take a shower, you just start getting ideas of what to do, and you start getting ideas, and because you become more sensitive, more sensory, the sick of the spirit of the water. Can I say something else too? Yeah, see yeah. something yeah. 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 You know what we've discovered, especially on all our travels? Railroads. 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 Yes. Railroads. <laughs> Railroads. It creates energy. A lot of the spirit All is the theorized energy. that that spirits um, get better and bigger with, with energy. It was because of the train tracks, um, the train don't ever have any lot of energy to It does. It does. In my experience, and I've seen, I'm sure the Seven Sisters, we had every time a train gone, my EVPs were going up. We have 160 trains coming through our city every single day. 160. I know. I live. That's why I live. I live two blocks from you. Know. At first, when I lived here, I had earplugs. I could find. I think my grandparents live right next to a train track, and actually, my aunt lives in her backyard, a few hundred feet away from the house. There's actually a train that you, you just get used to it. Mm -hmm. You just get used to it. Um, the decay of the history of, of Hamilton is extremely um, something that feeds the haunted here. When you have a very colorful history, like we did in the naughty days, um, when you have a lot of decay history, like we did, um, with you know the flood, um, the murders that happened here, um, all those things, um, and um, you know, they, we had hardships here in the city. It, it went through a really. If you look at German Village back pictures in the 1970s, this was a ghetto. It was horrible. And so it it's really has gone through a lot of, you know, um, I would say, you know, civic decay. Um, that's one of the things that we do. The Miami River, the Miami, Miami River is very important here, and much, much more. So we don't have all the answers. We, I don't know what the composition, sometimes they say that brown eye, you know, certain rocks and quartz and stuff like that are conduits as well for the haunted. 
I don't know how much is here in Hamilton, as she seemed to find out. But um, yeah, there is, and there's a lot of passion. When you have generations of people that live in the same community, um, those spirits just kind of linger on because, um, you know, that's part of what they do. With that being said, I'm going to turn the microphone over <laughs> for Paranormal 101, and um, they'll go through some of the processes of, of that. It's all listed on your little sheet as they go through it. Um, and thank you for being here. Up in there, after everything that we did, the energy really seemed to shift and change. And we felt like we were really getting some amazing um, activity with the spirits until the owner of the house came because she was a friend of ours and she was going to come and investigate with us that night. And she hadn't lived in the house for a while. In fact, she hadn't even been to the house in a while because um, she had had such negative experiences there. But she came that night to investigate with us and literally, I can't even tell you, it was like a light switch. When she walked into that house, that house and she, they are not good together. And the whole energy just turned dark. Yeah, I saw and the shadow creepers. The things we saw that night. Oh, those things are fun. Cat yeah. candles <laughs> lit themselves up and windows oh, wow. closed themselves. And it was oh, pretty crazy. That, that is a poltergeist juju. activity then. Yeah, it was some bad juju there. There's, yeah. there's, there's not many stuff. places that I will say I really felt the bad, just like you said. Um, but that's the place that I really, really felt. I kind of feel like also that, you know, they're a bad person in life. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's going to be exactly. 10 times worse exactly. in the afterlife. Right. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree with you. The last time that um, ghost hunt we did, as well for the world's largest ghost hunt, um, there was a bathroom. Yes. And there was an entity, and it was very evil. And that's what Sean was telling you yeah. about. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was terrible. I almost passed out. Not me on the ground. It, it was just really bad. I think that's what happened to my spirit box because I had it in my hand. Absolutely. I had a REM pod destroyed at Kerr City in Florida. Really? It was literally knocked off I mean, by a spirit. I mean, none of us touched it. It was knocked off a mantle and destroyed. So wow. that's why when we start, we are going to do a we prayer. We will. We're going to do a prayer protection. before we get we started. We always protect ourselves, ground ourselves. Oh. Before you begin an investigation, you really have to do it with intention. Mm -hmm. You can't just say, oh, this is cool, I'm gonna go in here and see what I find, because you could walk out with a lot more than you bargained for, and yeah. this stuff, stuff that'll stay it with is you. serious. This it's it serious. looks all fun and games sometimes, it's very exciting, and sometimes you, we might sit here all night and not get one shred of evidence. Right, we it's might, not like the shows. <laughs> but we might get something and we might get more than we bargained for. So we will be doing some grounding yeah. and some prayers. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, I'm we gonna just show them trigger objects, yeah? Yeah, we're the trigger objects so we can, yep. you know, we're running out of I know. time. All right, this is Petey. We love Petey. We love Petey. Petey is a trigger object. Um, he's great for when you have a house that might have child spirits or other pet spirits. He works as an EMF if they get close to him, he will mm -hmm. go off. Mm -hmm. If they pet him, touch him. Mm -hmm. We use dolls. We use bouncy balls. That light up. We use harmonicas. Maybe blocks. Um, a lot of times we whiskey. use cigars, <laughs> cigars. whiskey. That might, cars, whiskey might disappear but... later. On. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, one of my favorites is music. I will play music on the phone. Unless we're on Facebook Live, and then they'll they'll throw your whole video yeah. off. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We like we find that that positive energy, laughter, mm -hmm. is what really attracts spirits. Now, if you go into a location, you start, bam. What is your name? Where do you live? How old are you? Blah blah blah. They tend to go. Excuse me. Who Just like regular are people. You? Yeah, yeah. So if you, you walk, up, yeah. If you walk, I'm sorry. If you walk yeah. up to everybody in the street, what's your name? Where you live? Right. They're gonna look at you like, what are you excuse me. Like, whoa, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we try and we talk sometimes just to break the ice. We might play, start playing cards. Um, yeah. Just they Laughing. really, they, they really that. respond to positive energy and laughter. And of course we want to ask questions, so we do try and get the questions in, but a lot of the times we find that we'll be having a conversation and they will be talking or answering. We were asking yeah. each other a question the other day and, yes. the, spirit, and, and the spirit answered. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. yes. And when I found it, the Seven Sisters Inn, I'll tell you, when, when the ghost hunters came in and started saying, when did you die? Yeah. How old were you when you died? Right. You know, are you a male? You feel, they, they shut down. They shut down. They did not talk. But as soon as you start saying, oh, I understand that you were the mayor of Ocala back mm -hmm. in the 1800s. Oh my God, they light up because you're talking about their history. It's their story. Yeah. So yeah. it's their story. And that's why when we talked about the history of, of Hamilton, it's very important that as you ask questions, reflect on that history. And Maria, what's your favorite, your favorite tagline that I steal all the time, but I always give her credit? What is a haunting, Maria? A haunting is history wanting to be heard. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, I want to point out too that we often use cameras. Cameras are awesome for capturing evidence. Um, this is a night vision camera. This is a really strong IR light. I will use that if we were in a place without any light whatsoever. A lot of the times we've gotten to the point now where we're willing to light on because it's just better. We have a tendency to have accidents we and fall. hurt ourselves. We're caught so. And we're also, old. if you are shooting, if you think you- Not have, guns. Not, not guns. <laughs> <laughs> you set your camera on um, uh, multiple shooting mode. Like a rapid and, fire. Yeah, rapid yeah. fire. And you want to take, if you think you see, you might get something, you want to take four or five pictures in a row. Because mm -hmm. oftentimes you just do real quick, boom, 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 boom. And you look through them, and then the, the third picture you might capture something. Right. And or you can all do that on your cell video. phones now because they just call yeah. it first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and first. Yeah. Not a blast, though. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you can do that, and it, it's true. That's the best way to see a difference right. is to do it that way. And you know, we're all we're always open for trying new things, and but the main the main rule we have. Well, we have a couple rules. Yeah, we have some rules. <laughs> but being respectful <laughs> as the most absolutely important one. You do not. Um, We're not just, provokers. Yeah, we don't. Don't Zach Bagans it. No, no, no. Zach. <laughs> yeah. oh, Sean's not going to take off his shirt tonight. Yeah, I ain't going to happen. Do you, Danny? No, you did. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not gonna say that, no, there was a time, actually, it was at the Seven Sisters. Yeah. Anyway, but we won't go into that. Was, um, but, that was, um, <laughs> different story for different that's time. A different story, that's not the PG version, okay. So, um, but yeah, some of the rules um, when we get started is if you do have your cell phones, with the exception of Maria, Tracy, and I, and Sean, and whatever, because we're waiting on a message from a special person that's supposed to be joining us tonight. Uh, remotely, um, it would be best if you could set your cell phones onto airplane mode because your cell phones will set off pretty much every piece of equipment we have if you get close enough to it. Okay, and I don't want you, I mean, I believe me, I want you to have an experience tonight that would make all of us so super flipping happy, but I don't want you to get a fault. I want to be legitimate, yeah. I, you know, we debunk everything and I don't want you going, oh my God, it was so awesome. It was just good. When you had your cell phone on the whole time and you I'm can literally control some of these things. With your okay. cell phone. So airplane mode is super important. Um, also, we do have bathrooms upstairs, a man, a women's and a man's bathroom. But if you want to go. Hey guys, I want to show you we're upstairs how the motion detector going. Um, see if we get anything out of it. And some people are really, really great at picking up what they're saying, and other people not so much. Um, I worked Spirit Box with Johnny's office, and I will tell you what. That man is amazing on Spirit Box. Yeah, and so is George Lopez. Right. Uh, Tracy and I will be like, what was that? Did he say something? <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm going backwards. 
I mean, it, it could be, but when you get words going backwards and they're forming a sentence, it's pretty. Because it's going Yeah. 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 Just like when me, yeah. when we, me, Shannon, and Danny were. And you should understand the word that's being right. said. So if it's being said and you understand it and it's going in reverse, then, you know, you're sitting there thinking, what, what did I understand? What did right. I just hear? Yeah. Right. In reverse. Just like when me and Shannon and Danny were at the Bug House Story Society for World's Largest Ghost Hunt, uh, the same little girl who hugged Shannon spoke through our ghost box, and you can ask Shannon. You remember that, Shannon? Her Anna saying thanks. Yeah. It sounded just like a little girl talking. Her oh, voice. Okay. It touched me right here. It did. <laughs> and it was it was just We're amazing. We're going to show you an EVP from last night in my house. No, you can't go. But <laughs> 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 not yet. Not One yet. One day I'll open it up. The house is in, on fire. But anyways, I'm North Third Street. And, okay, I'm not going to tell you where else. It will be my porch. Come in. Um, but we're going to show you a demonstration of that. I want to just go back to a little bit of the, you know, organization of the event so you guys can know. We've done the 101. This is done. We'll take a little break. Then we're going to get together. Then we were thinking about just splitting the EVP sessions, but it's open. I don't think it's going to be a good thing to do that. Um, so what we're going to do is do just do the whole group EVP session here. And then EVP upstairs. session upstairs. Um, and then we'll be, do a review of each of the EVPs real quick for you. We do what they call blasts. <laughs> yeah, no, they're called bursts, burst, but Maria burst, calls them blasts, blast, so it's fine. Blast, blast. <laughs> and then we're going to ask you, we're going to get together all in a circle. We'll be pointing, and then we'll just ask one question, wait 10 seconds, and she'll give you, they'll give you the instructions on how to do the EVP. Right now, your job is to think about a good question to ask. And, mm -hmm. and do a second in the in uh, the reservation because sure enough, someone's going to ask what color underwear they have on. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you don't want to ask this kind of question. I'm being funny, mm -hmm. but in other words, have be creative. Use history. Were you part of the 1913 flood, et cetera, et cetera? So use or I understand that you lived here. Tell mm -hmm. me, you know, use them. Use their what you consider their experience here. Yeah. Um, and that's what I want you to remember. Now, not all ghosts come from the Victorian era. Right. Some of them might have died last week. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a, I a big drug problem in Hamilton. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> 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 So anyway, but and I'm in fact, the EBT we got last night was from someone who passed a year ago. So. Exactly. So it, it's not all Victorian. So don't Facebook think about um, you know the flood area only. There, whatever. This was a carriage house. I forgot to mention that the two mansions over there. This was where they put their buggies in. We believe that people have lived upstairs. Yep. The higher help. Imagine what kind of higher help they had back in the turn of the century. Okay, we're talking about possibly African American. Um, this was a trail for also the um, for the Underground Railroad. Again, um, that's a big deal in my house. So, just think about the questions that are very pertinent to here. Did you work here? Did you live here? When I we investigated this place twice, when my husband and I alone investigated, I will tell you what I got. Um, it wasn't a strong EVP. I'm sure we'll get better today because we've got better equipment. But I asked them to knock on command, and they knocked something on command, and they did it twice. Um, I asked them to show another type of their presence. They actually moved a chair. Um, that was it was upside down, sitting on the table, and they actually they went like that. So it was very strong. Um, I like the rods. That's yeah, you know, we who rod. doesn't? Um, yeah. And I identified that there were three people here, and there was a the woman. My gosh, she was as strong as me. Was the first one to start talking, and I'm so just that's the, just, yeah, like, just like that. There. <laughs> so that's a background of what we found. We had another. This was a command center for the World's Largest Ghost Hunt in 2018. I hope you guys all can be part of that. Um, and we had 154 locations tunneled in here. Imagine the vibrations that was coming into this building. Mm -hmm. So we decided- and some of that could be left over too. That, that could be left mm -hmm. over. Um, and um, 
and we took advantage of it at night and a, a core of us stuck together and we did an investigation and we had some amazing, then we had some amazing EVPs. So this place is definitely haunted. I wouldn't bring you here unless we knew. Um, but we're gonna, the fact that we're here all together for the first time as a collective group, mm -hmm. It's going to make Any this aspirin? amazingly good energy. Let's not yeah, forget yeah. the um, they experiment. Start bringing bag, okay, with this. Yes, we're yeah. going to definitely we're gonna do an experiment we'll with you that. that is amazing, that most of you, I guarantee, have not done, um, even the seasoned folks. So that would be a nice thing for the seasoned people. Um, but we'll do that. So right now, what we're going to do, again, take a quick break, come back, All right. do the saltation, Guys, and then we'll do the EVP sessions. That's okay. Maria. That's Terry. Hey. That's Tracy. Yeah. There were the ESP explores the paranormal phenomena. Spirit phenomena. Phenomenal spirit phenomena. I'm sorry. Uh, where can they find you guys at? They can find us at ESPExplorers.com is our website on Facebook. If you just put that little at sign with ESP Explorers, it'll come up. Um, you can also go to my personal site, Terry Rohde, um, Tracy Watts. Uh, you can can you tell them the name of your show coming out? Our name of the show coming up is called True Ghost Stories, which is also, uh, you can look that up awesome. on the internet. And can they yes. contact you with any paranormal issues? Absolutely. Awesome. Um, we And I'm one of those crazy people that when I give out my card, you'll see it on my website, my cell phone number, My I'm bad, but because I trust <laughs> people, I really do. Hey, yeah. But um, yeah, we are, we're from Florida, so uh, we do travel extensively, awesome. especially in the summer because we're both teachers. Awesome. Um, but yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. And there's Shannon. You all know Shannon. Hello. And, uh, No, no, I wasn't recording. Hi. And we're about to get spooky here, guys. We're about to start the, the night off. They're taking a quick break now. Um, I'm so, going to go outside and get some air. She's going to go outside and get some air. Her hair hurts. It, uh, it's starting to affect her. I know it affected Terry and Tracy also yeah. upstairs. I got a camera up there. I got a motion sensor up there. They got a camera up there. And let's hope something spectacular happens tonight. All right, guys. <laughs> Bye. See you. Question though, you didn't touch it to turn it off. So question though, you didn't touch it to turn it off. So question though, you didn't touch it to turn it off. No, no, it was by itself after the motion's gone. Huh? Interesting. You know, something else before you start. I forgot to. Bob reminded me, and I'm so sorry that I didn't. I don't want to say it now. I want to say it again later on. Epi dying. I say it again later on. Epi dying later on. Epi dying. Or take away. It's going to be a donor to the historical society. We're not collecting anything from this. Um, they're all volunteers, and I hope that you guys can just give them a poo poo for doing this. Um, yeah. Um, Thank you. We need to pay for building. We need to do a lot of things in German Village. So, in behalf of German Village, the service associate here. Oh. Okay, let me let me just add about the motion detector too. That door is shut just like you see it is. Mm -hmm. So, and Shannon, what who what did you say you thought? Was she there? was in there. But was she in there? But she was. I there's a there's a little girl in the closet, and I was showing her where the little girl was, and she was talking to her because we were trying to coax her out of the closet so that she would play with the toys. But she wasn't. Her head wasn't even. So. It, but she wasn't. Her head wasn't even. So anytime you want to set that off to let us know you're there, you can. Let us know you're there, you can. I don't think that you set it off. It's my point. Where's I guess. Where's my room closet? We didn't set I don't know. I, I think it's so far. Good idea. But I think it's so far. Good idea. But I think it's so far. She's been in that closet since I got here, so I don't know. I don't yeah, I can't see guys. her. I can only see her eyes. Put a doll. Maybe we put the doll by the closet. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
and a ball. And there's some blocks. Hold on a second. I gotta set this. Because I think I have to set this. Because I think I have to set it each time. Each time. That makes it on the most sensitive range. So, um, do you think that dog thing stayed on the girl on that closet? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see her from her eyes. I can only see her eyes. Okay. And you guys don't have to worry about the pause between the questions because I'll just control that by pointing. So when I point at you, just go ahead and ask your question, but I'll make sure to leave um, time in between the questions. However, like we said earlier, we often find that they talk over us anyways. Yeah, most of the time they will respond when we're talking to each other. To each other about asking, asking <laughs> each other questions. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. It is. All right, guys, ready? Okay, once we start, remember no whispering. That's don't feel bad if you pass. If you yeah, don't feel bad if you don't have a question. Asking a question, just say pass and no problem. Okay. okay, we are running the recorder. We are upstairs in the carriage house. What is today, July 13th? 13th. Thank and you. it is 9 46 p.m. Did you live in this building? Did you have a family? Stomach. Stomach. Pass. Can you tell me how old you are? What is your favorite color? Did you have a hard life? Do you ever leave this home? I understand the railroad was a big part of history here. Did you come here on a train? During the flood, what was that like? Were you scared? What year did you die? Pass. Me. Who was the president when you were alive? Were you in the prohibition era? Where did you work? Cardinals. Pass. How many of you are in this room right now? you're afraid. What makes you afraid? Are you standing behind me right now? Would you like for us to play a game with you? And I just wanted to say, I'm Terry, and I hope you don't um, mind all of us being here. We were invited to come to your beautiful house, so I hope you'll talk to us tonight. And I'm stopping. What? That was the EDI. Let me. Vibration. I want us to document this. This door is open more. Awesome. Yeah. I think I need to set the camera over here. I can't see everybody. This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need a, 
A spinner chair. I do. I use a spinner um, chair. One of those uh, um, things that you were on a, as a child. Yes. 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 I'd like to invite our spirit to come join us. I, I know we probably look very intimidating. Okay. The ball oh, just he moved. moved. He just kicked it. Did I think I kicked it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Double checking. Stop it, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we're good. We're all good people. Terry and I are teachers. We just kind of want to learn about the history and we know you can share that information with us so maybe you could tell us about your life and guys don't feel bad about even re-asking the same question or a question that somebody else asked because we might get a hit on something when tracy does playback and it might be something that you want to build on so just because they don't answer it the first time doesn't mean that it was a bad question like they might be freaked out with all of us in here so it might just take them a while yeah. to warm up to it. Sometimes they're more scared of us than we are oh, of them. Yeah. And um, I'm doing a little spirit writing while I'm doing that, and that's, that's a sentence they wrote. Is that what you're afraid? Yeah. I am afraid. Yeah, I, we need, the more we laugh and relax and enjoy, yeah. and enjoy, and, and not so, just relax and, and laugh. Right. Laughter is good. So if you think of something funny, crack a joke, feel free. This mm -hmm. doesn't have to be a song. Right. right. Exactly. So I'm going to play back. If anybody hears anything, raise your hand. Okay, we are running oh, the recorder. Wow. We are <laughs> upstairs in the carriage house. What is today? July 13th? 13th. And it is 9.46 p.m. Hey, I picked up some Did you live in yeah. this building? Shouldn't be in. Did you have a family? Oh, we got oh. it. We got. We got, we got something. Did you I was just gonna, let me just say about the third second question. I was gonna say I thought I heard a whisper. Did you have family? No. Wait a minute. Uh, can you everybody hear that? Mm -hmm. Right there. What number is that? Did you have family? Did you have family? Stomach. We tagged the stomach. Stomach. Was that a stomach? It sounded like pronouncing them to me. I know. That's like a stomach. 872. No, 672. Wait, I'm going to go back. No, I have No. Can you tell me how old you are? I'm hearing some knocking. Did you hear that? Yeah. 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 And nobody tagged it. Can you tell me how old you are? Yeah. Right there. Right there. Da, 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 da. That Can you tell me how old you are? It's opening more. It's opening it? more now. The door is opening. <laughs> She's curious. What is your favorite color? Did you have a hard life? I'm hearing some yeah, I did. Tap it. Hard life. Almost sounded too like a. Do you ever leave this home? There's more tapping. tapping. There's more tapping. tapping. We weren't moving at all. I understand the railroad was a big part of history here. Did you come here on a train? More tapping. Yeah. Boom, boom. We weren't moving at all. I understand the railroad was a big part of history here. Did you come here on a train? More tapping. Yeah. Boom, boom. Right there. There's yeah. a lot of it. A lot of it. Uh, Boom, boom. During the flood, what was that like? Were you scared? Again. Were you scared? During the flood, 
What was that like? Were you scared? Can we stop for just a second? Did anybody here just say something like a whisper or especially call me by name? Okay, that's what I heard earlier. You heard it too? Okay, because I just heard Terry. I just heard a whisper. And I, yeah. yeah. That was one of these guys. Yeah, I thought somebody called me by name with you, but I don't, I don't hear it. I didn't either. Okay. Um, well, you did yeah. introduce your name. I did. We all. We usually always we introduce always ourselves, introduce and we kind of skip that because there's so many of us. So right. maybe throughout the evening we introduce ourselves before we ask a question. Right. Um, but it could very well be a friend of ours. Yeah, because I literally, I don't know if you saw me, but I literally turned around because I thought, actually I thought it was Maria. And I noticed that she was down writing, so I knew it wasn't her, but I turned around because I thought she was telling me like to do something. So, yeah. 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 I, thought, I thought you recognized that she said it. <laughs> so so you've all heard it. I heard something back yeah. here and she turned around and said yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm okay. Yeah, time. when I was standing over there earlier, mm -hmm. like the second question I heard, like I couldn't make it, but I heard a whisper. Right. I'm looking like. Okay. That's how you look. Yeah. yeah. That's why I thought somebody was whispering to her. Yeah, but I. I <clears throat> As I'm playing this, if anybody wants me to come over so they can hear it clear, just, just let me know. Yeah, your hand. No, and this was like, this was like, like I literally thought it was Marie. What year did you die? Lord's happened. Oh, Creaking. Oh, that was tacked. Okay. Who was the president when you were alive? Were you in the Prohibition era? What? Were you in the Prohibition era? Yeah. I can't make it out. Where did you work? I thought so. Yeah. Okay. We should have put tape down. Yes. Do we have any? No. How many of you are in this room right now? We might have something we could put to market, though. How about just paper? I'm really afraid. What makes paper? you afraid? What? About a piece of paper or something? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. That was more. Yeah, that was Does that, I guess? Yeah. I heard an answer to something. I did too. Well, that's why I tagged it. When I turned, I said creaking. Hey, wait. No. Okay. Well, I know you're afraid. What makes you afraid? Right there. Right there. Yeah. Duck, duck. And then it says. Right, right there. Sure? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Did yes. you guys hear that? Yes, I did. Um, Tracy, you're getting Are you standing behind me right now? Did you get it on there? Are you standing behind me right now? Hello. 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 And I just wanted to say, I'm Terry, and I hope you don't uh, mind being here. We were invited to come to your beautiful house, so I hope you'll talk to us tonight. I, you know, I think too. I think I think it was washing us downstairs, and the creak. Some of the creaking we hear. My, I don't know why. I'm just thinking maybe they're coming upstairs to see what we're doing. That's what I was going to say, and that's what you picked up on. 
The one with my stroller? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know who, I don't know that any of them are the ones that I've had it, that that's happened to, but my neck. Well, heard you heard it too? Okay, because I just heard Terry. I just heard it was her. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I thought somebody called me later and said, I don't know. I didn't know. Maybe we should use that in the next, the next round of questions. Round of questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one says that it's 70.9. Yep. Yeah. 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 Literally next to each other, and they were like, Yeah, it's still a little bit of a degree off. So Maybe. there shouldn't be that big yeah, of a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, usually, what they say, uh, they are the, the experts, mm -hmm. not us, but they um, they usually say when spirit is around, temperature will go down. Piece of paper and more. I got my temperature gauge right over there, David. Huh? Yeah. You gauge it for us, Danny? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hit the pole. I was like, I don't love it when it rains during an investigation. Oh, that's the very good. Totally do. Okay. Well, this is a chance to try out the, the flare. Yeah. Okay. Which way? Yes, the train. No. Bring in that energy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't the train anymore. I get it. All right, guys, we're going to gauge your corner. Okay. Yeah, that was the box. We got 27 degrees in that corner. 27. 27. Make sure you're all set of green. Oh, wait a minute. We got 81, Shannon. 81. Let's see. It has different settings, but I don't know. Yeah. She came out for a second time. So the the yellow What did you say? She came out for a second? She came out and popped her head around and then she ran back in. Tracy, I'm just going to move this so that it's easier to see. Yeah, that way we can put that paper there. Yeah, yeah, I documented it. I wonder if that camera caught it, Sean. I might have. I think also the next round of questions, if you can show the block and the shrines. Right, not so, yeah. They want to go outside. So we let them know that we are. We got 82 in there, Shannon. Okay. 82. Right. Being curious. Go ahead. I had to take off the air conditioning because it's very loud. So I apologize to do something to get your attention. But um, I think it'll be quieter maybe if I say it. So I'll try that. Okay. That was carefully then. Yep. All right, I'm going to put it right back up here. It's running. Session two. Hi, we just want to say that um, we know that you might be a little scared, and we don't want to scare you. And we're just here to learn from you, and we just want to talk to you. So um, hopefully you can, you know, just talk to us. We, we just have some questions because we just want to learn about you. We're not trying to. We really hope you'll come and join our little circle and just talk to us. We want to learn about you. Okay. We tell in love and peace. We want to carry your heritage and your history. Thank you. Hi, my name's Patrick. What's your name? Hi, um, 
I'm also part German. You know, anything that you could tell me about my heritage, I would love to learn more. How old are you? Outside talking. Do you like dolls? If so, Petey's over there in the corner and he'd love to be petted. He's making noise. Yelling outside. So you know Lee Page of the Pennsylvania or work from the Vienna Railroad? Uh, my name is Rob. Is there a bomb here? Phone noise. Yeah, sorry. Is there anything we can do to help you? Let's do it. What do you like to play with? Do you like it when people come to visit your house? My name is Sean. If you're in a closet, would you like to come out and join us? We find it hard to ask the right questions. Could you just let us know that you're here? Because we're all a little nervous too. I find it really hot in here. Do you feel the same? We have some candy we'd like to share with you if you would like some. Pass. Oh, you guys are being friendly. I don't need it recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Practice practice. That was great practice, guys. You did so good. Hey, it could be all right. I got my EVP running too, plus on here, plus on there. Do you have an EVP running? Yes. So why don't we use Sean's? I had one running too. Good. Okay. okay let's so let's go. Guys, we'll get back up. Perfect. Smart people. Yeah, I don't know. Can we? A little speaker. Is there a speaker place? Uh, yeah, there sure. might be. Yeah. You're going to have to run it because I will have not to use it. We have smart people. Exactly. Yippee hoo. You're supposed to push it twice. I pushed it once. I was so excited. <laughs> you get anything on Flair? Really good questions. Those are amazing questions, guys. I always love these. Yeah. Yeah. She'll have to listen and tell. Yeah. Sorry.
Okay. Why does my neck hurt? My neck hurts. You can actually hear the word that spits out, but a lot of times we keep the volume off because if we're doing an EVP session, we don't want to think that it's a spirit voice, so we keep the volume off. You can actually hear the word that spits out, but a lot of times we keep the volume off because if we're doing an EVP session, we don't want to think that it's a spirit voice, so we keep the volume off. But then we'll look at the experiment upstairs. Two minutes, so I'm sorry. Okay, sure. Um, two pieces, two, one minute. Yeah. 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to say, I wish I had those long minutes when I took a snooze alarm. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I think that was long minutes. Okay, that's and fine. so, do you think the first audible that we heard, Sean, because Sean and I both. Yeah, I heard. We clearly. both heard an audible clearly. Um, and we both pointed at each other. First, it sounded like it was right here. Right here. Then the second one, it sounded like it was, it was over, over there. there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like we heard a voice, not just on a reporter, like an audible okay. whisper voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard something. I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't know what it was either, but we literally we both looked at each other and we pointed. I heard something yeah. when I went downstairs earlier. A man voice here. I heard that. All right. Wait back our silence. This should be fun. <laughs> Static again. There's fireworks again. I did. Okay. Now there's some tapping again. What was that, was that? that was it. That was the album. Can you play that back? Yeah. It sounds like a dog. It does. Right there. Yeah, that one from outside. That was in this room. This possibly dog. It said, yeah, I heard it. We all heard it. Up there, there's no reason for that. There was some more noise here. Yeah, hear, hear that? Yeah, hear that. Wow. Sounds like footsteps. That yeah, is footsteps. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that, footsteps. That, yeah. What was that vibration we just felt? Probably me. Oh. Yeah, wow, that was nice footsteps. loud. That's real good. Yeah. And the static. That's what not, trips me out, the static. I know. We usually find that when there's spirit activity. Something. We, we do, yeah, I usually have that in ours too. Me picking oh, okay. up the. <laughs> no. No? No, because I didn't pick it up. So oh. I thought that was the end. Let's listen again. It sounds like they touched it. It sounds like they touched it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did you have it? Up there. Sitting up there. That's two minutes. Shall we stop? Wow, great session. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was good in that um, it was good that we heard some stuff, but we ideally the experiment um, as written, um, is that we would have heard the word. Right. Yeah. Um, when we did it at the Seven Sisters, then um, it was like, yeah. 
yeah. and you heard different voices saying it. It was totally it was amazing. really amazing. So we can try it again downstairs or later. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when the next playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so downstairs, um, on your break, outside, uh, right up in front of the Did you have family? Oh, no, we got it. We got. It. Did you have family? Did you 
you would have fun growing up in this town? Did you work in this house? Can you knock or tap on the window?
in this building. Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you say you wanted your volunteer with you? A, a media update in New York City. Yeah. There's a blackout in the town of Manhattan. Really? Uh, everything is down. And 44 years to the day, 42 years to the day, happened today in New York. And I was there. Wow. And, it, and the whole city went black. It was one of the things I'll never forget. And oh, wow. Today wow. Happened. Wow. wow. That's crazy. Yeah. On the same day. On the very same day. Coming out here, Shannon. Okay. Are we going to do cross for yes, open for now? However you want. Are you going to do cross for yes, open for now? Sure. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to show you the chair. Um, I'm going to stand up, but I'm going to have my glove. Yeah. All right. I think you're going to have a better time. All right. Um. All right, so you're going to hold them and not move. Wow, okay. You want to talk? Cross for yes, open for no. Jenna. Jenna? Mm -hmm. Gladys, if you're there, will you talk to Jenna? Cross for yes, open for no. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. She wants to talk to you. Gladys, can I have a hug? Cross for yes, open for no. Can you push them all the way apart and give me a hug? Thank you. You want to try? Sure. <coughs> I think you're going to have a little better luck. Hopefully, I just get hugged, so. All right. Um, take, yeah. Turn around, Sean. Yeah, turn around, so Sean can show me with your consent, of course. Is that okay, Mom? Mom? Aunt. Aunt. Yeah. So, um, you don't want to put them on. Are you 11? Did you live here? Good, shake them out. Shake it out. Are you glad it? Cross cross yes. Open for no. Are you a little girl? Are you five years old? Can you open the rods up? 
open them clear up. Good job, thank you. Are you five years old? Cross for yes, open for no. Are you six years old? Are you, the, are you the little girl up in the closet upstairs? Cross for yes, open for no. Yes. Did you like the puppy we put outside of the closet? Are you alone? Cross for yes, open for no. Anybody else want to ask something? Is there more than one one kid in the house? Can you, uh, with the dowsing rods, can you cross for yes, open for no? Are there three kids in the house? Are there two kids in the house? Do you like the puppy dog that's upstairs? Is there a man here with you? Is it your father? Is your mother here? Can you point where you are in the room right now? Shannon just heard something over there too, didn't you? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You're over by Bob and Maria. Cross for yes, double for no. Are you over there by Bob and Maria? Yes. Does anybody else want to try their odds? Anybody else want to come up? Do you, do you believe now? I still can't hear like all the stuff you guys were hearing on the recording. 
you want to turn I around? Didn't hear it. <laughs> no, I mean I can see that. I mean I, I believe I just still haven't wrapped your head around it. I haven't heard it. Like, yeah. The recordings you guys were hearing that and all that now. I mean I did feel it clinking. This is, yeah, this right here is a feeling. Like when she first stood up to um start and to show us the rod, I felt just like a pressure on me. And just that's yeah, them, it it. It's them using our energy, I believe. You guys want to try it? No? Terry, Tracy, you guys want to try Um, oh yeah, that's all I know. Okay. Not, not right now, not since we've been down here. It was more upstairs. Yeah, she said a lot of Yeah, it feels um, lighter. Yeah, it was a lot lighter down here, a lot heavier upstairs. Yeah. It's a pretty cool feeling, isn't it? See, I can never get that feeling because my hands shake too much, so I can't use them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to use them, but... My handshake a lot. Yeah. You can sit down and use the two. Yeah, I always try to wrap. It's a lot more not there. A lot easier. Like if you talk to a little bit, like yeah, they participate more if you're on the floor. Like, you know, sometimes she might not be strong enough, but she might be like, yeah, typically. It's uh, however you feel. We could do nursery rhymes too. Oh, yeah. We usually get a lot of kids with that. Fifty bitty spider. Hit the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider up the spout again. Do you know that song? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was uh, <laughs> that was immediate. Yeah. Did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Were we bad? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that uh, just lit up too. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. God. Okay. How about Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Shall Twinkle. we do it? Sure. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, she says. All right. All right. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what she hugs are down. Yeah. Oh my God! And I'm sitting right next. Oh no! This ain't this ain't live. This is. Uh, oh, I got Baby Shark. This will be going on YouTube. Okay. Well, you can do that. We can do um, this little. I can just play it. Yes, I heard it. It's like ten seconds or something. Yeah. Hold on. You know that song, "This Little Light of Mine." Is talking about yeah. Did it? Yeah. You know that "This Little Light of Mine." Let's try. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that. Do you want to hear that song? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think this you're right about the height. It's right in the middle point. Because it's just going crazy now. And I don't know why, just like up here, up there, I saw like red. Do you? Yeah. We have to be careful of um, copyright, though. Okay. How can I stop? I don't want to <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. I wish they would go over and touch oh, wow. that green box again. It just went. Out can you touch that green box for yeah, us? That yeah, one. that one. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. There it went. Stop. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> 
Well, now yeah. we have the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Oh, yeah, we do you want to hear the little, uh, that Light of Mine song? Yes. Okay, do, do we all know it? I this remember. little light of mine, I don't know I'm going to let it shine. It? Little <laughs> light of mine. Yeah, keep going, Sean. Well, that's all I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to stop. Do you want me to bring the puppy dog down here? Oh, that's a good idea. Are you afraid of dogs? Oh, we have the dog right at the closet. Oh, we might want to move that then. Yeah. What about the dolly? You want to see the dolly? Yes. Bring the dolly. And bring the blocks and the ball. She, look at her, she's dancing. She's dancing. Yes. Look at this guy, this is amazing. Can you say what number is facing towards the ceiling on that block? And if you can't say it, can you cross the rod that number of times for us? Do you know how to read? Oh, she's hugging. <laughs> Okay, I will tell you what this number is. This number is three. And cross your box three times. One. One. Two. Actually, I counted one. Let's do it again. One. I think technically that was three. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it yeah. was three. Because <laughs> you said you started it. At, yeah. Yeah, if you're, he did it five times. <laughs> she did a great job. She did a wonderful so job. Of you. Yeah, you just counted to five. Awesome. Do you like the dolly on the floor? You can try a picker. You can try a picker. Do you like the dolly on the floor? 
you like to name her and you give it I have a suggestion she doesn't have a name about in case she yeah. talked over us because we should we move the dog Cause yeah i would like the dog. Yeah, yeah i would just put the dog away well i put him way back there but yeah but if she's trying to go up or down the stairs okay the dog. recording <laughs> no just put him on the <laughs> Wait. recording She tagged that was her. Who was that? Nobody. Hear that? <laughs> was that your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I said that was me. But that other noise. Yeah. It was right after I said that's me. It made that noise. Where's the closet? It sounds like a vent in my house. It's, a, it's in the back. Yes, somebody whispered. It was him. Okay, should I re replay what we've just all? Okay. If you want, play with her. I have a suggestion. She doesn't have a name. Can you give the dolly a name? What would you like to name her? Can you tell us what her name is? Just want to know if there was a tap. That tap was it Maria. Was created? Did anybody create that tap? No, not me. I thought I heard a creak like. But yesterday. I'm noticing. I'm noticing that. outside. Does that light only come on when there's movement, or is it? No, it's been going on and off. Has it? Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if it, the bulb is about to burn out, or if there's some other like wiring or something. Right. But um, it's the only one on the street doing it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm noticing. Yeah, we when we were on break, that's what we noticed too. Oh, it's, it just lit up. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you give the dolly a name? Let's see if she did. And I have a question for you, because this is a carriage house. Did you like horses? Yeah, I thought so. I love horses, too. I love to ride. Are we talking to the little girl? 
We have it some little girl. Yes, we are. Okay, we're gonna play this and see if we can hear your voice. I'm running the recorder. Can you say what number is facing towards the ceiling on that block? And if you can't say it, can you cross the rod that number of times for us? Do you know how to read? 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 hugging. Okay, I will tell you what this number is. This number is three. Cross your rods three times. One. One. <laughs> one. One. <laughs> Maria doesn't know how to count. Honey. Don't feel bad. <laughs> I'll buy you a book, One. Maria. <laughs> One. Let's see if she said anything on that last go round. You know. <laughs> what? Recording. No, 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 no. Who was that? Who was that? Nobody. I know. We already listened to this. Yeah. Hear that? <laughs> Was that your stomach? Okay. Would you like to give the doll a name? We listened to that too, didn't we? No, we haven't listened to that yet, I don't think. Yeah, that was later if on. If you give that doll a name, I will leave her for you. Oh, yeah. No. She can be your own special doll. Car. Do you like the name Beth? <gasps> Look at that. Terry. Oh, Look. OMG. Oh my God. Guys, you have to touch. You have to make it light up. Yeah, you do. It you have to move it a yeah. little bit. Is there somebody upstairs? <clears throat> <gasps> Look at that. Terry. Oh, Look. OMG. Guys, you have to touch. You have to make it light up. Yeah, you do. It you have to move it a yeah. little bit. Is there somebody upstairs? <clears throat> <clears throat> that was me. <clears throat> that was me. Is there somebody upstairs? They were stairs. Something. Clicking. Like Do you have a friend to play with? Maybe. Steps. Do you have a friend to play with here? I worry about you being alone. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want you to be lonely. You said you liked horses. You know what? We have some toy horses, too. Would you like for us to get those out? Well, I'm I'm impressed by the yes. Uh, that yes was 
Mm -hmm. Solid. Because I thought to myself, somebody had said yes, but you said it right after. Mm -hmm. so one of you two said yes after. So they didn't say it twice. No. We scored. <laughs> yes, I, we did. I mean, we're very happy that you're willing to communicate with us and talk to us. That's the ball. Did um, any of the Caesar paranormal investigators, one of those chairs, and spend some solo time upstairs investigating? Yeah, let's find Feel yeah. free. It's near the, you know, near the end of the night, and if you wanna. I definitely do need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> so I will. Yeah. You're gonna spend some time alone in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> investigating, right? Yeah. Please, right there. You bring the camera back? Can you bring the camera back? Huh? You bring the camera back? Here at, uh, at Carrie Jet, I'm tired. Um, we're with the ESP. Uh, what do you ladies think? It was awesome. It was a yeah, great night. Yeah, it was, it was a really great well, night. session. I think uh, later we'll see some good stuff in this. Plus, I got tons of stuff to go over. I know you guys do too. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll I'm send you whatever. All we, the will stuff yeah. we will yeah. too. We will too. Yeah, good EVPs. Oh yeah, yeah definitely real mm -hmm. good EVPs. And that last one. That last one was oh, amazing. Gosh. Yes, um. Oh, I loved yes, yes, um. yes, that yes, was, I loved it. And the ball. The lighting of the ball. The light ball that was just, perfect. Mm -hmm. It got me right here, like. I know. Wow, yeah. And she wanted to play. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I know you had a lot of. Intense moments yeah. up there. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of stuff going on upstairs. Um, I have a headache. <laughs> Nausea. Yes, nausea. <laughs> yes. Anxiety. Yes. And um, a neck pain. So. Mm -hmm. Danny, what were your thoughts? That's good. Investigation. You ready for another one August 24th? Yes. We'll be back yes. August 24th. You guys coming back or no? No. no, no, unfortunately, we have to go back home School. and we'll be teaching by yeah, then. Yeah, we'll be teaching by then. <laughs> but we'll but be looking for it on online. Yes, yeah, to the absolutely. Great Network. Subscribe. We're all, we're all, we'll put all the links to all their stuff in the description, guys. Uh, I'll make sure uh, Paige gets all the information and everything. They're awesome. They do some great <laughs> investigations. These ladies oh, have it together thanks. when it comes to paranormal. They're <laughs> impressive. We love working with them. Uh, we hope to do you know it again that, so in yeah. the future, you know. We'll be back. We'll definitely, definitely be back. back. Yeah. We we'll love this we'll town. We want to take you to Satan's Tunnel. This whole tunnel. town is hot. That would be awesome. Satan's Tunnel would be awesome. We, we want to do Greenwood to Cemetery with you, too. Okay. Which cemetery? Greenwood Cemetery. Greenwood. Absolutely. 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 Absolut